Yo, they're not paying us. So? They we could if they see us advertising for it. You gotta think about these things, bro. Like, I'm wearing an in and out hat, like... Come on, bro. But, welcome to yet another episode of the Phobic mm. Show. It's been the ill minute. It's been since, what, Lukaku and Rooney, which was like three we've, weeks ago? We've been quiet. We've definitely been quiet. Um... But you know we're coming at it. The hot man takes. Trying to, man was trying to relax. Man's been working mad, mad minutes, mad hours. Since the hot takes are loaded. The hot takes are loaded. Yeah, bro. Just had to like recoup after coming back from Los Angeles. So let him know. Let him know. Um, it was lit. It was a lit trip. Um, I don't know why I came back. Should have just should have just stayed. Introduce us, bro. Uh, I'm Snacks. Um, decked out in the HP jersey and all that whatnot. We got Eames over there decked out in the Zlatan jersey because he is. A day one Zlatan fan. I don't care what you say. I don't care what he said in past episodes. He is a day one Zlatan fan. Cut me and I bleed Zlatan. Exactly, bro. Like, what go on, B? So, yeah. We're here. It's um, been a minute. I have, I'm, back. I'm locked and loaded. I need your takes. Um, I have a couple things I want to ask you about. Yeah, I, you, I, haven't, I haven't really put in my thoughts on Lukaku. I mean, I have on Twitter, but I didn't. Yeah, I need you I need you to give me your thoughts on. I have a couple of hot takes here for you right away. We're going to dig right into this. Uh, we still, the people, the people still don't have your thoughts on Lukaku on video. Uh, and we need it. We need it. Let us know. We're, Lukaku, Romelu Lukaku, 75 million pounds. Just signed him a few weeks ago. Rooney going back the other way. He picked up the number nine. Let me, let me, let me hear it. Let me hear it. All right. So the day that I found out Lukaku was going to sign with United, I think it was Andy Mitten tweeted it on Twitter, obviously. 75 mil, like, he's going to be on Brothers United Players sometime this week. It was actually the day I was going to Los Angeles. So, like, I was pretty amped as I was because, like, bro, you're going to L.A. Like, L.A. lit, L.A. vibes in it. And then, like, Lukaku signing, it also, it was, like, 6 o'clock in the morning when I read it. And I was like, yeah, deep. It was a really it's, weird time of the day, yeah. Yeah, bro, and I was like, deep. Well, it was, like, England time. It's, like, normal time. It was, like, our 3 a.m. or something, right, when it was announced? Something like, yeah. I don't remember, but, um, I mean, like, we kind of said it, like, I've he wasn't my number one target. Like we all wanted Morata, but like in the grand scheme of things, like like this is obviously bias coming from me. But like, obvi- like I think he looked good in preseason. Not gonna lie, he looked really good. He looked like two goals in four matches. Like definitely could have scored more. But like I wasn't gonna like be like, yo, like this guy needs to score like every time he touches the ball. Like I know what I'm gonna get from Lukaku. Twenty five goals last season, which was his best in his career, mind you. It was like split between like the Europa League group stages or whatever. And the Premier League. So 25 goals is a nice return, I think. For Could how have been top scorer in the Premier League if Harry Kane didn't score like 10 goals in the last well, two Well, like games. the last three games, right? Yeah. Um, I I mean, like, I don't think he's like one of the best. I mean, like, you could say he's one of the best strikers in the world. I don't think he's there yet. He's still only 24 and he has like 24. 100 pitch close to his name. Like, that is ridiculous. Yeah. So, like, obviously, I'm like, I'm trying to be optimistic. Like, I'm not going to be like, yo, like... Lukaku, like, is going to be the world beater. Like, I trash-talked Lukaku before. I was just like, yo, like, I don't want him, this, that. But, like, now that he's with us, like, you got you to gotta look at the positives that Lukaku can bring you. I think, like, we have a very good chance of Lukaku coming. I mean, like, becoming, like, a, a stud for us. I think the team is built perfectly around, like, yeah. not perfectly, but ideally around him. You have, yeah, like... Fit-wise, it's, yeah, perfect, yeah. He reminds me kind of of, like, a... Zlatan 2.0 with, like, speed. A Zlatan meets Rashford. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, he has, like, the, the brute and, like, the, the finishing ability of a Zlatan, but he has, like, the movement and the speed. And the Not ball. exactly the speed to the extent of Rashford, but, like... Yeah. as much as you can The guy's, have. like, what, six... He's, like, what, 5'11", 6 feet, like, 2 220, what? 240? He's 6'4". Regardless, like, he's huge. He's huge. He's, huge. he's a tank. He's literally a yeah, beast. Yeah, and, and he can, like, move like it's nothing. So, yeah, like, that's, yeah. that's definitely reassuring to see. 100%. I'm excited to see what he can do. I mean, like, that goal he scored against City was absurd. I mean, I don't rate that keeper anyways. The guy has, like, a tattoo of, like, a soccer ball on his neck or something like that. So I, I think it's, like, an eggplant, but yeah. Yeah, bro. And, like, man, like, I was watching one of the other ICC games, and, like, one of the Roma players had a tattoo of literally a soccer ball on his neck. So, like, neck, neck tattoos are stupid. And you know what? I mean, something to think about in perspective is compared to Morata. So we wanted, we, on this show, we wanted Morata, Bilotti more. Um, but to think about it with Morata, like in perspective, is the way I looked at it was Morata's ceiling is probably higher than Lukaku's, right? But Morata's floor is also a lot lower than Lukaku's. 
So Morata could go into Chelsea this season and legit score three goals, and I'd be like, damn, that sucks. Like, I, you know what I mean? I like, I'd be surprised, but at the same time, I'd be like, that's very, you know, like that could happen. That could happen, right? Whereas Lukaku, he's going to get at least 15, 20 goals, bare minimum. Like, if he's I mean, that's what you expect. You expect him to get, like, the lowest I'll expect. If he's trash, he'll get, like, 15. If he's trash. Yeah, like, that's the lowest I'll accept from him. Like, considering that, like, like, let's be honest. Let's compare Chelsea with Morata now and Lukaku and us. Like, our team is way better offensively than their team. Like, I don't care what you say. That that midfield that they have is literally just, like, a second form of defense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they can't create. And, like, Pedro and Hazard are both inside players who cut in and try and score. So, like, Morata, like, I still think Lukaku will have more goals than Morata. But... like, our team is built better. Like, Morata definitely would have thrived in our system. But but, I wouldn't be surprised if both of them flop. Yeah, and, uh, and also I wouldn't be surprised... If Morata is just better than Lukaku, right? Like, that wouldn't surprise me. Morata finishes the season with more goals than him. Or if he's just, like, in general, just a better player than him. That wouldn't surprise me, right? Because he has a higher ceiling, but he also has a lower... F- like, if, Muk- if Morata's trash, he's going to be bad. He's going to be bad. He's going to be Falcao levels. He could easily be Falcao levels of trash. That'd be. He could, right? Like, I don't think he's that bad. I mean, I think like I don't think he's going to be. But if he was, would you like? How I mean, anybody can be that? that bad. Anybody can yeah. be that bad. Yeah, but strikers specifically moving into England, I've seen it all, bro. I've seen it all. Um, but yeah, I think that's anything else you want to touch on with Lukaku. I mean, the, him taking the number, number nine, nine, like yeah, and like like. Yeah, in instance, you think, okay, Zlatan's gone, right? But, like, this is my theory, bro. Like, no one's taken number 10 yet, right? Like, no one's taken it. Like, Rashford's confirmed saying 19. Don't think Martial will take number 10. And if he were to change his number, he'd probably go to 7. Pogba looks like he's going to stick with 6. Like, so if we do resign Zlatan, the 10 shirts going to him. Like, that's – it's like, like who else yeah. would it go to? Give me another player in our squad right now that has well- – that all has I'm saying, it. Yeah, I'm saying all I'm saying is if the first game of the season against West Ham, it's West Ham, right? Mm-hmm. If the first game against season against West Ham comes and you and no see one's wearing number ten, and you see Pogba wearing number ten, don't be surprised. Obviously, the numbers have to be announced before that, but I mean, like, don't be surprised if one of them still changes. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past any of them. I wouldn't be surprised, not even the slightest bit. But if we no one takes it, like you if just no have one to takes it, yeah, same thing. I would expect Zlatan to come back and take ten. He could even come back and take seven. That wouldn't surprise me at all either. I would rather see him in seven, bro. Yeah. Like he's worn ten. Like he's worn. He's worn eight. He's worn nine. Like bro, and seven like, is like low key jinxed right now. Low key cursed. Oh, been jinxed since what? Michael Owen. Michael Owen's probably the last like. He cursed it. He hundred percent cursed it. Yeah, yeah. Did he get it after Ronaldo? Did he get it after Ronaldo left? Yeah. 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 Yeah, he it's Michael Owen's fault. He cursed um, it, 100%. So, yeah. I mean, if yeah, Celtic Memphis, can come back in... Valencia, Valencia Di Maria. Yeah, trash. <coughs> um, yeah, so if Zlatan can come back in... But, like, the whole thing with the number seven, like, bro, Di Maria could have easily been good if, like, Mourinho had come in two years earlier, you know what I mean? I don't think they're, like... I really don't want to believe in their curse, but, like, no one took number seven this year, right? And yeah. was there, like, anybody... That really stood out to you that could wear the number seven that was trash? Well, nobody could have taken it because Memphis had it. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, like hypothetically, like, let's say we had sold Memphis in the summer, right? Because yeah. Memphis didn't even play for us, right? Yeah. Did you, like, and compare the whole season, Do you did you remember, like, Martial was definitely didn't meet his expectation, but he wasn't trash. He right? would have taken it. If we sold Memphis in the summer, it would have been Martial because this is, because Martial just switched to 11. He switched to 11 last so year. So he would have switched to seven instead. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Eleven still a lit number. I don't yeah, know. Why yeah. Oh, by all means, by all means, yeah, um, yeah. But next, I want to move on here and ask you my next question, which is: we spoke about Lukaku, that which was our signing. Uh, give me your thoughts on Lindelof. I mean, he's played five preseason games. It's just preseason. We don't want to judge players on preseason. I mean, like, but you've been, you've been going quite like we've been talking about. It. You've been going off on him. Like, yeah. Like, let me tell like, you something. Or right, go ahead. You go. Give me. Give me. No, no. Take. You go first because like you because when we talked about it, you're like, yo, like 
this is the guy, this is the man, like Listen. he's gonna be the next big thing. And then like I, it's just preseason. Yeah. But like yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I was in on Lindelof. I was in I was on the Lindelof wagon, bro. He fit he takes all the boxes. Literally the way I looked at Lindelof was just a white bay. Literally that was the way I looked at. I looked at him same playing style, like high press, uh tough tackler, pacey um, good with both feet, you know what I mean? Good first touch, that type of thing. I looked at him as literally a white version of Bailly. Um, however, it's been pretty bad. It's been quiet for him this preseason. He's been literally smalling. He's been smalling in preseason. He's been bad. He's been, he's had like, I don't remember who we were playing. I think it was uh, Dos Santos that lit him up. Giovanni Dos Santos. Oh, the galaxy. Ooh, bro. He literally, like, he broke him. He literally wiggled him. And, like, I saw that goal. That was 100% Lindelof, like, getting eaten alive, right? But, like, before that, obviously, someone gave the ball away, blah, blah, blah. But just by that moment, that by that play, I saw Lindelof, and I saw a player that just didn't have the agility to, like, keep up with a wiggler like Dos Santos, which is, like, to be fair, Dos Santos can wiggle. And, I mean, I looked at it and I was like, okay, he's rusty, it's preseason, maybe he still needs to, you know, get sharper, get in shape. But then, game after that, not good. Game after that, not good. But Yesterday... Like preseason, like, preseason, like, to me, like, doesn't... It doesn't matter. It really, like, to me, yeah. it doesn't really matter. Like, you know by what I mean? By all means. Yeah, by all means. Like, I'm not, we, like, for example, we beat Real Madrid, but, like, that doesn't mean anything. Oh, we yeah. beat Barcelona, like, it doesn't mean anything. Like, I'm not, yeah. like, worried, but, like, at the same time, I'm not, like... I'm not happy with the way he's playing, but at the same time, I really think it's like, bro, like when you take the step from Benfica or wherever he came from to Manchester United, like that step is huge. People have been talking, bro, I've been listening to reports. People are like, maybe you want to start off at a level of like Manchester United and then you can get to, bro, don't compare, like don't make that difference in the comparison between us and Real Madrid. We are at Real Madrid's level. Like maybe not like right now, but at the term of like stature of club, Manchester United is the only English club that could like, evaluate against like the Barca's, the Real Madrid's, the Bayern's, all those teams, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like I don't know why people are like ch- regardless of the point. I think Lindelof was like still like a Manchester United player. I think it's just nervousness. Like I think like what's going to happen is is he definitely isn't going to be in the opening day 11. I don't think oh. he's going to start like a couple of weeks. I really don't think so. Really? And I think and I think, like, it's going to take one mistake from Smalling or he'll come in as a sub or something like that, and then he'll be good. Like, I think – I really think, like, he can be good. Obviously, I'm not going to – I wasn't praising him. I was like, oh, Lindelof's solid player. Like, we've been trying to track him since January, so he has to be, like, good. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I'm like – especially after this preseason, I'm not excited to see Lindelof play if he's going to play like that. But at the same time, like, I'm not, like – by all means, like I would I would be more ready if I saw Smalling in the first team eleven than than Lindelof. To be completely fair with you, yeah, and I mean I'm not. The thing also with preseason is when you see nice things, you're like sick. Like yeah, you're doing the good things in preseason. Like Montreal against Real Madrid. Exactly, but then when you see the bad things, you think okay, you're rusty. You've you know you've been off for a couple of months. Um, you're still getting a, a, you know accumulated That's to your teammates. Team. Fair enough, and just it's just. It's it's just the type of bad <laughs> things that I've seen are like are annoying. Like they're really bad things, right? So like if he's misplacing passes, then it's like maybe you can argue, okay, maybe he doesn't know that Valencia likes to have the ball to his right foot, blah blah blah. But he's like he's been like missing headers. Like what was that someone scored on us on a corner kick or something like that? That was all his fault. Like a hundred percent his fault. And the one, it was that same game, that LA game, I think. They but scored like, on. I remember, like, like it's it's gonna like he is also like what twenty two years old, like yeah, oh yeah, definitely yeah, not yeah. a finished product. Oh yeah. So like, if his worst is Smalling, let's just say hypothetically, his worst is Smalling. Like, don't sleep. Smalling was once a PFA Player of the Year player. Not that that means that much, but like, still, like, yeah. it happened. My so, like, biggest fear is he's gonna end up being Mangalo, and I'm just worried because. I wanted us to sign Mangala. Bro, when Mangala was at Porto, he was a beast. He was nobody can come in here and tell me Mangala wasn't an absolute animal. And when City signed him, I was ripped cuz like they signed him and then they signed Otamendi and I'm like Otamendi also another guy I really wanted. Um but Mangala especially cuz he was mad young. But like he just hasn't Mangala I'm talking about 
never adjusted to the Premier League. He's like he was big, athletic, <coughs> same type of player, but he just never adjusted to the Premier League. Like he's never been good in the Premier League, and that's just I, I just don't want Lindelof to you know go down that but route. At the same time, you gotta like remember like when Mangala went to City, like Pellegrini or S- S- Mancini, one of those two was their manager, and bro, like. If you look at City's back line, even with the the buys they're buying, like let's look at their back line right now. Let's, let's just guesstimate. Kyle Walker at right back, Mendy at left back, assuming Vincent Company's healthy at center back, and then John Stones is next to him, right? Let's just say that's their back four. Benjamin Mendy, like just be, for the sole fact he had a nice season at Monaco, that's like their only like player that you'd be worried about in their defense. I'm not worried about Company because if you push him, he's going to get injured. I'm not worried about John Stones because he's not a defender. Bro, Kyle Walker doesn't know what 1 plus 1 is. He really doesn't. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Kyle Walker's made a career off of just being fast. Fast. You know what I mean? being, literally being fast. That's his exactly. entire career is being really, really fast. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, the, those managers never, like, built defenders. But if you look at what um, Mourinho's done with, like, with yeah. players, bro, he, made, he made David Luiz look good. He made... He made Gary Cahill look decent. Gary Cahill is terrible, by Gary the way. Gary Cahill's bad. Like, he made he made Pepe, he made Varane, like, one of the most coveted center backs in the world. He made Nacho, Varane's that other guy. Trash, right? yeah. Yeah, and he made Nacho, like, one of their, one of their starting center backs now. Like, he, made, he brought him into the first team, you know what I mean? Like, Mourinho can do stuff with he defenders. Does, yeah, I'm with you. He does have a like, good record Bayi, with defenders. Like, look at Bayi, was literally a nobody before Mourinho signed him. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. he has... So, like, he has a good record with defenders. If that's, I mean, yeah. If if you're, yeah, I'm. Don't with that. sleep. Remember this. Danny Sturridge lit by up in the Europa League when Sevilla won it for the third time in a row. Don't sleep. Yeah. So like, and then Bayi comes back and he's like considered one of the best center backs in the world. Yeah. You know no, I, mean? I I I totally agree that Mourinho is excellent with defenders by all means. Yeah, he is. He is. He's really good. He sets them up. He does set them up to succeed. Like he. He makes it hard for them to be bad, I guess you could say, right? He puts them in really good positions. Um, Yeah, no, I'm with that. Um, My next question that I need to ask you is,